In Conversations with Meister Eckhart, the questions are imagined, but Eckhart's words are not. These are his words, speaking to our souls today as once they did to the monks and nuns of 13th century Germany, who found him a man and leader worthy of spiritual attention. So, to start us off, uh, Meister Eckhart, some pastoral advice, please, for anyone feeling a little insecure or battered today. Uh, what should they do? Do exactly what they would do if they felt secure. And that's it? That's enough. Do exactly what you would do if you felt secure. Well, I like it. <laughs> and I can guess your reason for this sense of security. Whoever has God as a companion is with him in all places, both on the street, and among people as well as in church or in the desert or in a monastic cell. I like that. I like the idea of heaven pouring the whole of itself into the cowering earth. That's, that's a hopeful image. So perhaps we're ready now to consider detachment. It is the highest virtue. Yeah, so you say, so, so if detachment... Or disinterest. Yeah, if these things, detachment or, or disinterest, are the highest virtue, that must mean that you put them above love. He who would be serene and pure needs but one thing, detachment. That's a striking claim. What do you mean by it? Human perfection consists in becoming distant from creatures and free from them, to respond in the same way to all things, not to be broken by adversity, nor carried away by prosperity, not to rejoice more in one thing than another, not to be frightened or grieved by one thing more than another. You could not do better than go to where it is dark, that is, unconsciousness. I've been talking with Brother Paul in the vegetable patch and he, he recounted a conversation he had with you in, in which he asked this question. Why did the indescribable God, God the All Highest, take on flesh? I remember. Yes, and what was your reply? Why did the indescribable God take on flesh? In order that God may be born in the soul and the soul be born in God. And you believe this to be the reason for the incarnation of Christ on earth? Indeed. That is why the whole of scripture was written and why God created the whole world and all the order of angels, so that God could be born in the soul and the soul in God. So the incarnation was about union, mm. a union between God and the human soul. The union of God with the soul is so great, it is scarcely to be believed. Yes, and finally, Meister, now our time is done. Give us, please, a simple word to live by. What does it avail me if the birth is always happening, if it does not happen to me? That it should happen to me is what matters. Thank you for your time. Shortly the bell will call us to Compline, and mm. I know you have a long journey to make in the morning. Yeah. If nothing else, Meister, you, well, you've reminded me that I, I don't pray enough. If the only prayer you say in your life is thank you, that would suffice. Meister Eckhart faced constant harassment from the church he served with his talk of God and the soul considered dangerous. He died shortly after being excommunicated by the Pope. And in death, his reputation was attacked. But his followers kept his words, and through them, the man and his message live.